IB Times UK has come down to the TUC rally against the trade union bill. The government says the legislation is necessary as it will stop unwanted strikes with a threshold of 50% for workers. But the TUC argue that it's undemocratic. They've got some support from Tory backbencher David Davis who compared it to measures introduced by General Franco. We're going to speak to some of the protesters and get their thoughts. The public support what the RMT in general tries to do for the public in London and um, the RMT as a trade union and most of the trade unions on the railway want to see a decent railway for, for work for, for all the people that use it. So it's not about it's not that. It's been turned into a political football by the government to further um, uh, their fascist objectives, that is to sort of erode the rights of trade union members and their ability to take action in defence of their members. The, the right to strike will be reduced to um, an extraordinarily difficult process that requires uh, a voting system that um, uh, political parties wouldn't be able to survive under and uh, for, for, for an outcome that could be squashed by um, management bringing in outside work. A Department for Business spokesperson said people have the right to know that the services on which they and their families rely will not be disrupted at short notice by strikes supported by a small proportion of union members. The ability to strike is important but it is only fair that there should be a balance between the interests of union members and the needs of people who depend on their services. Essentially, this bill adds up to a fundamental attack and that's why uh, politicians of all stripes are worried about it. This bill also attacks union funds. There are large parts of it that weren't written down in the Conservative Party manifesto. And of course, the government's own independent regulatory uh, policy committee, its own regulation watchdog, said that this bill was not fit for purpose. It had been pushed through without any evidence, uh, without being clear about what problem it's trying to solve and of course uh, with very poor consultation. So I think there's an opportunity for the Lords to say to the government, think again, this is a bad bill, bad for workers, but bad for fairness and British uh, democracy too.